Um, but yeah, guys, Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads, run them up. beautiful people <laughs> it's me kayla so as you know this is the part three to my marketing your shopify store series if you would like to know how to market your shopify store and actually figure out how to get your store up and running with shopify this video is for you so we have everything laid out we know what our store name is we know what kind of products we're selling all that now you need to market it in order to generate those sales right so <laughs> the first step Picking two platforms. I, I wouldn't say get on every platform possible. If you feel like you can do that, do that. But I would say you need a platform, one, that is going to give you high engagement and that's going to give you purpose. So that high engagement platform may be Twitter. As you know, Twitter, things go viral fast. You know, with Instagram, we can reach a large amounts of people, see a broad audience. Um, I would say a platform that would give you more so purpose would be Facebook, um, Facebook Marketplace, things like that, where it's more centralized and you can link those Facebook links to your Twitter, to your Instagram. Of course, once you get your Instagram up, you got the pictures posted, you know, you got your profile picture up, your contact information, all that fabulous. Next, what you want to do, say you use Instagram, you want to get that shop tab up and running you want to use that shop tab so that's why i say you want to use facebook because in order to run ads through instagram you need to have your facebook shop connected um so yeah you have to get on facebook i'm sorry <laughs> so pretty much when you're on shopify it'll ask you if you want to set up your facebook shop and what you do is click yes and it'll ask you which current profiles do you have to use as a business manager now mind you when you're running ads your personal profile won't show up. It will ask you to create a business page and this business page will be your store. Um, so pretty much what you'll do whenever you add a new product to your Shopify store, you want to also add that product to your Facebook shop. It makes it so much easier to tag products on your Instagram page. It makes life a million times easier, I promise you. When you go to Instagram, you wanna make sure your profile is a business profile one so you can run ads um, on Facebook. And Instagram when you go to Instagram and you make a post you can promote whatever post you want to post as long as the image quality is high enough resolution and I believe Instagram will tell you whether or not that image is of high enough quality click promote and what you want to do is of course pick your centralized groups you want to market to so the age range the gender the cities and also gives you um, a tab where you can select the interests of your clientele so it could be entrepreneurship fashion boutiques art whatever you're selling make sure those interests line up with what your brand is after that you have to get approved with the promotion you do you can select how much money you want to pay per ad per day um and that will also affect the amount of people that are reached so also so i said instagram ads are great also facebook ads are awesome i got my first sale off of a facebook ad and y'all i was so anti-facebook i was like who gets on facebook anymore who uses facebook like why but yeah i got a lot of my first sales off of facebook ads and facebook ads pretty much run the same way so as long as your instagram and facebook are connected you're good to run ads also i would say with google adsense you create a google adsense account um shopify does give you a hundred dollar google ad credit so that's beautiful <laughs> um so pretty much what the google ads will look like you know when you shop for something up top it will have like what you just typed in from different stores so your store will be up there with the different uh items so that's what the google adsense ad does you can also do youtube ads fire and facebook ads pretty much run the same way so you can spend a certain amount of money a day per day and that also increases or decreases the amount of people that are reached through what you're spending and the amount of days that you're running these ads now when you go to pick these pictures that you're going to be promoting make sure it's something that people are going to be interested in they're going to say oh this like make it catch their eye you know what catches your eye you know your ideal customer and what they like because hopefully you've already done your consumer research method of marketing 
is influencer marketing, y'all. Influencer marketing, okay? So, of course, you want to pick an influencer who aligns with your brand. You want to pick an influencer who's your ideal customer. Um, that makes the world of a difference because why would you send a product to someone who you don't see wearing your clothes? That's a confusing message. <laughs> so pretty much that's what you want to do. When you're looking for influencers, honestly, truly, no one's really going to say this. You want to look for influencers that have not been advertising for a long time. Do you want to know why? Because the rates are going to be lower. Their market, their audience is a lot less saturated. Therefore, you're more likely to get more revenue and sales off of their promotions. Because think about it. Think about your favorite celebrity. Imagine how many companies and advertisers are coming to them asking them, oh, can you sell this for us? Can you sell this? Can you sell this? So imagine how many ads you see your favorite celebrity posting, how many companies they're promoting. You're going to be less likely to buy something from them, honestly. It's less saturated. You're going to get your company, your ads going to get way more visibility. Um, so, but if you're just starting off, Honestly, I would say find maybe a micro influencer, find um, a good friend you have that has a large following so you can avoid using excess fees and costs to pay for promotions um, when it comes to influencer marketing. Also, I would say email lists. Now, Shopify, um, they give you an option to use MailChimp as their email marketing, or you can use any other type of email marketing software. You can use MailChimp, you can use Constant Contact, you can use literally whatever you want to use, okay? And that's a good way just to keep, you know, your returning customers, new potential customers um, up to date with, you know, new products, new sales, new releases, um, campaigns, anything like that you want your customers to be aware of. Um, and that also creates a sense of loyalty and trust because you're sending them personal emails so they feel as though they're inclusive in your brand and what you have going on. Going back to the social media thing, post often. You don't have to post every day, but you do need to post often. So therefore your potential clients, current clients know you are still, um, you're active, you know, same as your personal profile, pretty much. You want to remain active, you want to remain visible, you want to remain relevant. If you've already done that, then you know what your customer is drawn to. So make sure what you're advertising is going to motivate your customer to purchase from you. It takes money to make money, but I would say with these ads, you need to make sure that it's worth the output that you're going to be getting this money back okay and this i will guarantee you i'll guarantee you will get your money back with influencer marketing i promise you i promise you i promise you it may not be as easy to get um at first if you're starting off with no money it's going to be harder to negotiate with certain influencers because of course everyone doesn't work for free no one wants to work for free no more it's 2020 we are not working for free so it may be a little more difficult to find someone who is willing to negotiate prices with you once you find that person i promise you your followers will go up and your vanity metrics will go up your followers your engagement all that good stuff so don't be afraid try new things of course dibble and dabble it's okay to experiment to see what methods work best for you in your company don't be scared thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe if you like videos like this let me know i'll make more this is fun <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time